In this episode, giving car boots the boot and creating rocket fuel from water to power satellites and spaceships. Welcome to your Manufacturing Minute. Chances are, if you live in a city, you've probably seen an illegally parked car or been the recipient yourself of a wheel clamped with a wheel boot until a fine is paid. Those boots can be heavy and cumbersome and require the person putting them on a vehicle to kneel down dangerously close to passing traffic. Now, New York-based Ideas That Stick has developed an alternative to the boot, the windshield blocking barnacle. Parking officials need only lean across offending cars from the curb in order to install the barnacle, which suctions itself to the windshield using two pump-activated commercial-grade suction cups that can withstand hundreds of pounds of pulling force. When not being used, the barnacle folds in half so officers can carry several of the devices in the back of their vehicle. After paying your fine, drivers are given a numerical release code. Should drivers try to remove or drive away with the barnacle still attached, a built-in alarm will sound. Once removed, drivers have 24 hours to return the barnacle to a drop-off location or presumably be fined once again. Is this a better, safer solution to the auto boot? Tell us what you think by leaving your comments below. A group of students from Cornell University are working to develop a tiny satellite designed to orbit the moon. And while this doesn't particularly sound impressive as a standalone idea, it's the how they're planning to do it that's so fascinating. Their goal is to demonstrate that you can use water as a propellant. Yeah, you heard me. Water-powered technology is attempting to be used to navigate a shoebox-sized satellite into orbit around the moon. But the upside of a spacecraft powered by water is that it wouldn't rely on an Earth-bound resource to function. Ideally, the spacecraft could even refuel at a space-bound water source like an asteroid, meaning it would save astronauts the trouble of hauling fuel all the way from Earth. Not to mention, of course, the added benefit that water is a safe and stable fuel substance. Now, this is all part of a competition that NASA is hosting called the Cube Quest Challenge. So we won't know if the Cornell team will be able to meet their goal until as late as 2018. But if they are successful, then it could open more doors to push spacecraft deeper into the universe. Do you think this water-powered technology could be a viable alternative to fueling the spacecraft of the future? Tweet me your thoughts at MNET News or leave a comment in the section below. That's all the time we have for today, but tune in every Tuesday and Thursday for your next Manufacturing Minute.